Your Excellency, Champion of AFC FTA and former President of the Republic of Niger, dear colleague ministers, Secretary General of the AFC FTA, dear participants, all protocol observed. First of all, uh, let me join with you all in thanking God for his grace and mercy who allow us to be here today. May his name be praised forever. Let me also appreciate the warm welcome and the hospitality conveyed to us since landing in this beautiful town of Nairobi. Your presence of you, each of one of you here is a proof of the commitment that you want to make another milestone of the Africa we want. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, the Africa we want, as outlined in the Agenda 2062, is a vision of an integrated, prosperous, and peaceful continent. As also the theme of the year of the AU is accelerating the implementation of the Africa Trade Free, Africa trade, free trade Area, to get there, we need to change our mindset and, cha and change challenges we face into opportunities. The African continental free trade area is one of the solutions of some socio-economic challenges that we faced. To do so, we must focus on inclusive and sustainable programs which add value of our economies and which also improving the livelihood of our population. On that line, no one can ignore the role played by the private sector, especially as the key motto of, for industrialization and trading. The reason why we are here today, in order to offer a platform of discussion on how to own and drive Africa continental free trade area by improving and keeping strong and active the private sector. I hope by the end of the day, we come up with a roadmap in order to unlock trade and investment opportunity within Africa. I believe that it's a good opportunity for all of us ever and now, to embark the private sector in the process of implementation of the African continental free trade area. Let's take this advantage and make intra-trade happening. I wish you a fruitful dialogue, dialogue and deliberation. God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chantal Nijimbere, for the remarks on behalf of the Council of Ministers.